Hello all, in this video we will talk about RC phase shift oscillator and then simulate it using the LT spice. So basically what is RC phase shift oscillator? In fact what is oscillator? Oscillator is nothing but which generates a waveform right basically it oscillates and provides a waveform of a particular frequency so we use oscillators in various applications right it can be used as a carrier signal it can be used as a, a clock signal uh, for microcontrollers for other digital devices it can be an internal device in the chip, internal circuit in the chip which generates a waveform and acts as a clock uh, internal to that particular chip like for example again microcontroller, right? So that there are many applications of oscillators <coughs> and in the real world there are many types of oscillators as well. One of the simplest oscillator is RC phase shift oscillator. So RC phase shift oscillator is an oscillator which generates lower frequency signals or lower frequency clock output and this basically is depending on RC circuit and an active element to generate the output. So what is active element and what is RC circuit let us look at it. So if you see here this is an op amp which uh, is OP77 and this op amp has oper operating between uh, 9 volts and minus 9 volts and then this uh, op amp basically uh, is connected through a negative feedback here and then we have um, the gain of this RF by R1 which is 100 by 1 which is 100. So that means if you see here the gain is 100. One of the uh, principle of oscillator is the gain of this um, circuit, the feedback circuit must be greater than or equal to 29 to provide oscillations at the output. This is one of the first primary criteria for the oscillator to be satisfied. So when uh, for the oscillator to work and uh, generate output and then apart from this there is something called Burkhausen criteria. Burkhausen criteria is nothing but uh, for a circuit to oscillate or to generate a constant frequency output you need um, a phase shift of 0 degrees or 360 degrees between the input and the output. So what do you mean by this? So phase shift is nothing but how much angle you are shifting the signal between the input and the output, right? A simple thing which we all know by definition. Now, a RC circuit Basically, this is RC circuit which we have been mentioning in the RC phase shift oscillator. So, RC circuit, if you simulate individually, generates the phase shift of 60 degrees. So, that means if you have a signal here uh, and uh, you see the output of this RC circuit, uh, you see that <coughs> there will be a phase shift of 60 degrees between uh, the output and the input and we here if we see have three RC circuits um, in series that means 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees which combined together forms um, a phase shift of 180 degrees. Now to consider Burkhausen criteria or to satisfy the Burkhausen criteria, we need to provide another 180 degrees um, phase shift um, for this uh, circuit to operate as an oscillator, right? So this active circuit which is here generates another 180 degrees phase shift. So 180 degrees plus 180 degrees phase shift combined together uh, gives uh, 360 degrees or basically 0 degrees phase shift. So this uh, criteria, Burkhausen criteria and the gain criteria both are satisfied with the circuit and then another important thing is uh, what is the formula 
uh, for the output frequency of this circuit. Formula for output frequency of this circuit is given by 1 by 2 into pi into R into C into okay square root of SQRT of 2 into N. So this is the formula. So this is all in the denominator. Now 2 pi R C which are very clear R and C are nothing but these values. We use constant R and C values in this oscillator and then square root of 2 into N. What is N? N is nothing but uh, the number of RC elements used in this particular circuit. Now we have three RC elements used, uh, so that means n is three, and uh, three RC circuits um, are used, which is square root of uh, six. So now, if we calculate this, we uh, R is four k, which is uh, uh, four kilo ohms. Capacitor is 2 microfarads and we have 3 RC chains which is combined together gives approximately uh, around 10 Hz frequency. So for now we are just generating a 10 Hz signal uh, out of this using this formula. So this is the critical calculation and then gain which is very clear is equal to 100. Okay, so this basically is a mod that we are considering. This is a non-inverting amplifier, so it will be minus 100, but if you, uh, the mod is uh, of A, so if we see this, we are actually saying modulus, okay. Okay, modulus of A, which is uh, 100 here. So this is the circuit that is used. So okay, you can use any op amp which can generate uh, the required signals for your analysis. And then we are using a transient analysis here uh, with a stop time of uh, um, 5000. And then we are actually saying uh, the DC voltage to start at 0 volts. So this is the startup condition that is being applied. And transient analysis is performed. So now let us try to run the circuit. So when we run the circuit and try to probe at the output port, okay, you can see here uh, post uh, um, some time the oscillator starts working and you can see um, that it generates a sine wave output with a constant frequency. Now, if we auto range this and uh, just try to see this is around 4.74 and this is around 4.84 that means approximately 10 Hz frequency so which is what uh, is theoretically calculated so you now change the um, the values of this R and C resistors and capacitors uh, to generate your required frequencies. So R and C must be calculated such that uh, your oscillation uh, is generated. So the, the major design criteria is selecting this R and C value. So this is RC phase shift oscillator uh, which generates a constant frequency um, and uh, based on the RC elements that are there in the circuit. Please uh, try to simulate on your own and use different values of R and C and compare the theoretical and practical values uh, and uh, please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.